The Warden Army will arrive in 10 minutes. There should be some supplies on the artificial island that can still be used. Please make preparations. 10,000 Wardens? Oh, I need to make a phone call. Are you at the airport? I said I wanted to tell you something after we safely left Japan. I think I'm either telling you now or never. According to our intel, you might have two sons. You heard me. You have two sons. And they are right here in Tokyo. And you don't know each other at all. It is not 100% confirmed, but there is a very good chance. The signal went out. It seems the communication network in Tokyo is also gone. Were you calling Master Uesugi just now? Well, at least he is notified. In case the boys are eaten by the Warden armies, and that would be a great shame. <laughs> Lock and load! Caesar, I've heard the Catusos can produce burning blood. So, don't be stingy when we need it. I only have two shots left. It might be a different story if I had 200. But you still want to try it, Mr. Andrew? Are you joking? I am the principal of Castle College. If I can't stop the swarming wardens, just who can?
about the stomach for another round. I just remembered that I haven't approved your marriage application, Johan. Your fiancé is expecting you. Don't you regret being here? Well, as my mother never failed to remind me, a man should live his life without regret. I think I did. How could I not have come? I rarely get to go berserk. Well said. I should have approved your application. Back then, well, I thought you were a little brat. So what you're saying is, if I can make it back to the college, my application might be granted? I must say, you really always pick the best time to put in a proper request, don't you? What is this? This is my private seal. Use it on your application when you get back and hand it over to the Vice-Chancellor. He will smooth the rest of the procedure. Johan Chu, hand me that weapon box. Keep it for me. It would be a shame to lose it. Is this your last will and testament, Mr. Andrew? I will take care of the wardens and that big boy there. Your job is to plant that bomb. Here comes the helicopter. waste my time. The sooner you ready that bomb, the more likely I am to survive. I have lived too long. All my friends are dead. When I die, there will be no one left to remember them. Their existence will be completely removed from this world. This is why I cannot die. Got it. Roger. has been free. Oh, I thought you had already left Tokyo. Come on, stop panting already! And tell me who my sons are! I seem to remember you had decided to end the bloodline of the Emperor. You must have felt disappointed when you heard the news about your boys, didn't you? Cut it out! He is the current High Patriarch of Hydra, the one you deemed to be an imposter. The two kids are test tube babies. Developed from the DNA sample that you gave to the Germans. Test tube babies? From that minuscule amount of DNA? Are you absolutely sure? I can't guarantee it. But once we get out of this island in one piece, you are more than welcome to run as many DNA tests as you like. Oh, damn it! I've come all this way to see you, and is that all you can tell me? You don't even have a picture of them? Their hidden identities won't allow 
any photo leak. Are they, uh, good looking? You know, I must say they are both extremely attractive. The older one is really quite handsome. And the younger one, well, the younger one looks more like a girl, I'd say. Are they, uh, stubborn? They are also very stubborn, to the point where they seem unreasonable at times. Now, don't tell me they're nerds! No, no, they are both very smart. Unfortunately, that quality of intelligence has caused them a tremendous amount of human suffering. Are they popular with girls? Sure, yes, they have many admirers. Though different in style, they are both equally attractive to the ladies. Who knows, maybe it is true. Does sound like the take after me. <laughs> hello, yes, hello. I haven't finished yet, but can we please talk about it when we leave this god-awful place? Then let's go. Follow me. Take a breath. <laughs> Do you need me to carry you on my shoulders, old man? We're in the home stretch. Look at your students. They haven't given up yet. No matter how exhausted you are, you have to summon up your last bit of strength. You can go ahead. I need to catch my breath. Damn it! I'm here to save you! Please wrap your head around that fact. I'm here to save you. If you kick the bucket, then I've come here for nothing. I am not your boys. Of course I know you're not my son. You're way too old. But my sons live in this world, and you're the only one who can save it. The forbidden door has been opened, old friend. We are past the point of no return. I can't think straight. Maybe I just lost too much blood. But I need to rest. I need some rest. I don't care if you've lost a ton of blood. Listen to me and listen well. All Dragon Lords were awakened. Much like how the King's Blade tried to wake God. Both the Lord of Bronze and Fire, and the Lord of Mountain and Earth were awakened. They woke up, one right after the other. Someone woke up the Dragon Lord with the sole intention of luring you into battle. What did you say? I can't explain this in detail, but my gut is telling me it's true. From the Lord of Bronze and Fire, to the Lord of Mountain and Earth, to the Light King himself, all these resurrections have been meticulously planned. And all of it leads to the inevitable return of Nidog. For all these years, Hydra have been keeping the Light King's secrets at any cost, because they're afraid that someone will wake it up. If every step taken by the King's Blade has been calculated to the extreme, he knows the Light King even better than Hydra. He must have a source of knowledge on the inside. So, who is his source? A human? Or a dragon? But no matter who it is, 
The Light King's resurrection has been planned. There is someone working through the King's Blade. The humans are on the verge of confronting the dragons. As soon as we do that, we will surely face utter annihilation. I don't have any time left, but please protect this world for me. My son's still living it. No, no. Can you use Black Sun one more time? We might still have a shot at success if you could just... Of course. You haven't seen Black Sun at its most powerful yet. Anju, you are my friend, and I think of you as a brother. But we don't walk the same path. We will not be reunited in the afterlife. I will go to heaven, and you are destined for hell. But I will pray to our Almighty Father that he may forgive you even as you burn in hell. I leave behind a world that will only know even more chaos and strife. Please protect it for me. My son's living it. Please tell them that I am sorry I couldn't be there for their childhood. But I'm happy to know they exist. Even if I am now at that point in my journey, or I must face its end. Tell them that I love them. Protect the principle! Fight your way out! Come back. Don't you want to meet your sons? I'm so unspeakably happy that they are in this world. I was told that my father waited for me to come to Japan to see him. Even though he didn't make it through that last winter. I think... Now I know how he must have felt. Remember your promise to me. You have to protect this world. With my sons in it. and Johan. Let's go. <laughs> Don't take off. Wait a second. Wait! Come back! I have fought the fight. I have finished the race. I have kept the faith. The crown of righteousness will be with you from now on. Goodbye, aren't you? You damned demon.